Hello, in this session, I'm going to take the introduction to mechatronics. In that, open loop system, closed loop system, examples of mechatronics. First, we'll take a definition of mechatronics. Mechatronics refer to mechanical electronic systems and is normally described as a synergistic combination of mechanics, electrical, electronics, computer, and control, which when combined make possible the generation of simple, more economic and reliable systems. Nowadays, mechanical means, mechatronics means here the mechanical systems what are there, those are controlled through electronically. The electronic signal we are going to send there and those signal are sent that one through the control system and those control systems like a computer the computerized systems and from that we are going to send a signal to control of the all mechanical machines that is the mechatronics nowadays computer numerical controlled machines what are there all those are the mechatronic systems and there are many of the mechanical systems those are the mechatronics the mechatronic systems only next one open loop control system the machine control system in which there is no provision to compare the actual position of the cutting tool or workpiece that is output with input is called open loop control system sometimes an open loop control system is called a non feedback system the open loop control system means here the input we are going to give in terms of the machine movement or in terms of the speed then through the controller the control process actually the what process is to be happened that uh, comes that one then add it will producing the output the output what is producing that is the movement of the machines speed as well as then these are not we are going to compare with the input okay for example if you take here the some uh, movement of movement distance and that actually we are not going to get that the same distance but uh, it is not compared with the input that's why output and input we are not going to control uh, compare and the feedback we are not going to give from uh, this system and continuation with that one here we can say that one the construction of an open loop control system is very simple okay directly that whatever the input we are going to give output we are going to produce that's why there is a construction is very simple mainly two components that is controller and the controlled process that is output are included in an open loop control system that is a control for the working as well as the output of the control process that the only the two parts will be there in this system there is no monitoring actual displacements of the machine slide the displacements means movements what are there those are not monitored in this system control may indicate the movement of the machine slide 50 mm but actual movement may be the 49.8 mm okay here the the distance of that actual slide movement is there okay that input we have given the 50 mm then the output we are going to get the 49.8 mm 0.02 mm there is a difference and the, that we are not going to compare input and output that difference would be remains as the difference okay that is the uh, open loop control system example the example for this one television rice cooker the television means uh, any program it is uh, telecasted its output uh, we are not going to compare to the what intended that is as an input and the rice cooker there the heat what we are supplying that one that steam production and the whatever the temperature we are not going to feedback again to uh, control the heat supply like that these are the open loop control systems the next one the closed loop control system in closed loop control system the actual output from the system that is the actual displacement of the machine slide is compared with the input a closed loop system uh, control system is called feedback system okay in this one the output what is producing from the control action the output what we are producing that is measured actually that is measured by the measuring element and that measured whatever the value is there that is sent to a comparator where in the comparator the input will be there what actual input is uh, given to this one that is there and that is compared with the output 
if any difference is there then there will be error signal that is sent to the control action the control action uh, adjust itself to give the actual whatever the required output is there like this the output and input are compared in this one closed loop control system and for that there is a feedback for is there for this one okay then the by this one the more accuracy and more whatever the output is there actual output is there that we are going to get okay in continuation with that one the construction of an open loop control system is very complex means it consists of that comparator and controlled action okay and also the out feedback system okay all these th things are there including that one it will become say somewhat complex more components like controller feedback comparator etc are included in the closed loop control system these are included in this control system the displacement can be achieved to a very high degree of accuracy the moment what we are going to get there is a, we are going to achieve a very high degree of accuracy because of measuring or monitoring device is used to determine the actual displacement of the slide the measured output is then compared with the input and corrective actions may be taken if any deviation is present so what example we have taken in the previously open loop control system that is input if, if you have given the 50 mm movement the output if you are getting the 49.8 mm then that is compared and corrective actions are to be taken so that the output should be always 50 mm for that the examples what are there refrigerator cnc machines robot etc refrigerator we will discuss that one in that refrigerator the certain space or a compartment uh, is to be cooled okay its temperature is to be reduced compared to the outside atmospheric temperature and the temperature is reduced for the required temperature and in this one whenever the continuous cooling in the refrigeration system if the temperature reaches to the required temperature and that sends to a signal to the controller where it will put stop that one the refrigerator operation then later whenever the temperature in increases above the required temperature then again it will send the signal to on the refrigerator system like that the the output what is there that is the temperature and that temperature is set particular value at the input and these two are compared and then putting on and off of the refrigerator takes place similarly in the cnc machines and robot happens that one then we have to take the examples of mechatronic systems there are various examples of mechatronic systems are there some examples are taken here examples of mechatronic systems are robots digitally controlled combustion engines machine tools with self adaptive tools contact free magnetic bearings automated guided vehicles etc there are some other examples are so there you will discuss that is one of the example as a robot so what is the robot then robot is the reprogrammable multifunctional manipulator designed to move materials parts tools or special devices through variable programmed motions for the performance of variety of tasks okay here the robot is the reprogrammable you can change its program and it is a multifunctional it will do the multifunction actions and manipulator the movement it will provide designed to move materials parts tools or special devices through variable programmed motions the variable program the changing in the program variation will be there always for performing variety of the tasks the various tasks are to be performed in this one the robots actually what are there in this one in the industry for the welding assembling uh, for all these things the robots are used nowadays for the machinings the robots we are going to use and in the defense applications in medical applications and there some of the in the process we are going to use the robots here and in this one all the outputs what are there those are compared with the input and thereby the corrective actions are to be taken uh, uh, by the signals therefore that is a mechatronic system then here we can see that how actually the performing the operation by using the robot takes place here we can see the some of the machining operation is carried out and here the machining 
whatever operation is there that operation uh, some input are given so inner diameter outside diameter surface finish like that and this uh, whatever the output it is producing robot and that uh, through the signal it will be sent to the input to the system there the comparison it will be taking place and thereby the corrective action taking place this is a closed loop control system only the robot okay here you can see the the another machining operation the gear cutting operation will be taking place for the gear cutting operation we need the speed of the tool and the depth whatever it is given and whatever the feeding it is required to give all these things surface finish how much we have to get all these things whatever are there in terms of the signal that is sent back to the the control system thereby the controlling whatever is there that is corrective action if it is required then it will be sent to this whatever the operation is there actual output is there like this in the robots the output what are where those are to be controlled mechatronically okay the electronic signal we are going to use computerized control system we are going to use and mechanical operation it will be taking place that's why these are the different mechatronic systems the robot is one of the best example of the mechatronic systems thank you you can watch the more videos of me next thank you